Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at how to uh, create a rendering like this using Arnold Renderer. So we are going to create an indoor lighting scene uh, and we are going to use our chair room and there will be three lights that we are going to use to create uh, this rendering in Arnold. So let us get started. First things first, customize unit setup, metric centimeters, system unit setup, centimeters we'll create a box for our room and i'll make it a queue uh, it will be around 500 centimeters uh, which is like a room of around five meters by five meters okay uh, what we can do is add a few segments all around Go to edged faces you can see that uh, segment so we can delete one of these for window so i'll convert this to editable poly and we can scale this down as the room is only 2.5 to 3 meters tall uh, drag this down We'll drag this down because the window is going to be long and the window will be here so I will drag this to the left and drag this again so we get a long window this is going to be the window so I'll delete it now we got a room and we need thickness to the walls so we will add a shell modifier You keep hitting S until you get shell. I'll make it 10 centimeters wide, so the wall thickness will be 10 centimeters. Uh, then I will add an edit poly modifier on top. These lines get. Uh, remains straight so I'll simply make this outer layer same as this one so you can simply select these and scale them up so make them straight straight okay, that's not so important I'll leave that alone. then I'll go to file merge file import merge and import the chair from my other max file That's the chair. The chair is too small, so I'll scale it times, and then I'll scale it 20 times more, 20 times more. So angle snap and rotate it. You can bring any object, or you can simply add a teapot to test your renders. Okay. Uh, we will add a physical camera. Okay, so we'll look through the camera now. So 
updated the teapot. I have the chair. This is the top layer of the floor. So the chair is on the floor. The camera moves up slightly. The whole thing will move up. Chair still looks small to me, so another times big. Let me type 20 instead of 200. Okay. We can do is if you select the camera and go to modify pa panel we will look at focal length and change the focal length so you see a wider view of the room okay you might want to look up, light up okay then that's a good setting if you go to camera we'll go to show save frame so we know what is getting rendered at this time we will go to render settings and we will do render in Arnold physical camera will be blocked output size will be HDTV and we will make this 720 by 405 so this is what we're going to render so if you hit the render button you can see that everything is washed out and we'll also look at how much time it takes to render the scene when there are no lights and hardly any materials rendering so Arnold uh, renderer is going to create global illumination or indirect lighting and that is why it takes longer time to do the calculations so if I hit the render button again you can see that it took 35 seconds to render all right uh, so next step is to create some materials so we will go to Arnold surface and we'll use standard Arnold surface material and we'll select the room and assign the material to selection and then we will name it walls I will create another material so I'll simply shift copy and call this chair and we will assign this to the chair Okay, let us make the chair red color. Then we will copy this material and call it floor. And we will assign a wood texture. So find a wood texture online. And this one. Okay, and then we don't have a separate floor yet so what you can do is select the middle one row it to select the entire floor and I'm going to find the detach button somewhere around here detach and that object is going to be called floor as well so that's floor this is floor. this one is walls this one is chair okay so select the floor 
assign material to the floor show shaded material in viewport will show the texture okay so we have textures assigned and now we will give it another render so now you can see there is a floor this wall and the chair I will cancel this um, it is too bright so to reduce the brightness I will select the camera go to modify panel and we are going to change the exposure of the camera so you have to go to exposure settings and you can see it is 6 so if the number is increased it becomes darker okay so if you make it 8 and render you can see now it's darker all right so i'm not going to complete this render we'll stop it here now we need light to come from the window inside let us move this chair slightly away from the window all right so we will go to lights and select arnel light click on arnel light and then there are different types of lights so we're going to use a distant light for the light to come from outside into the room the front view the light is on the ground so we have to move it up okay so if I render this you can see now uh, the room is much darker and the light is coming from the window and you can see the shadows okay I'm not going to go through this render uh, we can try to move this so that the shadow go through the chair now what we need to do is create another light it was kind of dark so we need some more light into the room so we are going to use a sky dome and the sky dome position doesn't matter it just has to exist in the scene and now if you render the sky dome we will see how long it takes and uh, what the global illumination will do is uh, when the light uh, comes from outside and hits onto the surface it is going to bounce onto different objects all right and that is going to create the diffuse light or the bounce light effect and what the rendering engine is doing is doing the calculations of understanding what the material is how shiny it is and it is transferring that information from one object and hitting it on the other objects so it uh, looks at these pixels and colors the pixels based on how the rays are bouncing okay and that's why it takes a longer time uh, to render the scene so, so you can see that now our floor is quite shiny the light is too bright and we need to reduce that so I'm going to stop this uh, because we get a fair bit of idea of how things are running and you can see that there's a fair bit of noise in the scene so we are also going to look at how to reduce the noise all right so it creates good uh, rendering the quality of rendering is very good but it is a challenge to reduce the noise uh, while keeping the rendering time low okay so every time you pump up the values to reduce the noise the rendering time increases so we'll look at how that can be done okay so if i hit the render button again it took one and a half minutes to render that scene all right so first thing we have to reduce the brightness so if you select the light what we are going to do is we are going to reduce the exposure so let us decrease the exposure of this light from eight to four so you can see that we increase the exposure for the camera so for it to become dark and you have to decrease the exposure of the light for it to become dark okay so keep that in mind Let decrease the exposure of this to four now one of the ways to decrease the noise is to add a light which acts as a portal all right so we'll use uh, quad light and I will assign the light in this viewport so the light has to be just outside the window 
uh, we are creating a daylight system so this uh, portal will be the same size of that of the window okay so we'll make it portal so everything else is deselected just the dimension so we'll just make it big enough to cover the window okay and we assign that portal to the uh, sky dome so we'll go to sky dome and then we say portal mode on and either you can affect the interiors and exteriors or only interiors we are doing the interior scene so we'll make it interior only format we, we leave it at lat long and what we want to do is we are also going to assign a 2k hdr okay so this light uh, instead of using a white color light what we will do is we will use a texture so there will be a scenery outside and based on the scenery if it is green then the room will get some green bounce light if it is blue it will get blue bounce light so it looks more natural if the outside scenery is reflected in the room and that can happen if you use uh, texture for the color instead of just using a white color so add on maps we are going to go to bitmap and we are going to select an hdri image so I'm using this hdri image so this is going to be outside the room uh, to find an hdri image you can go to hdriheaven.com okay uh, go to hdris uh, select any of these categories whatever image you like and say you like this image you click on the image and instead of right clicking and save image as you go down and download uh, one of these so you just have to click on these and you can get a 2k 4k 8k or 6k I, I choose 2k so 2k works well for me so you can click on that and download the image all right so now what we did was we converted our sky dome to a sky portal which will reduce the noise and then we used a texture uh, HDRI image this is for the color that will create some natural lighting in the room. So well, let us look at the rendering. We also reduce the exposure, and now you can see that uh, the walls are looking much different. It's getting the color from the image, and the brightness is uh, also less, and the noise well will be reduced than what it was before as well okay because of the usage of the portal light so you can see there is reflection here and then there's this wall if you look at this wall this wall is brighter in this part because it is closer to the light source and it is darker as we go away that is what you see in real life okay and you can see that the rendering is, seems to be much faster than before because of the use of uh, the portal okay so now what we need to do is we need to see an image outside and then maybe it's too dark you can also see that these edges they are quite dark okay and that is called ambient occlusion and it refines the edges so uh, things look uh, it gives more depth to your image okay that will not happen in the default scan light render so we need to add some bump map to our floor and then we need to create a glass and a frame for our window and we need a light coming out and then we need to reduce the uh, noise further from the scene okay so we will look at those things in the next class.